Dr. Ralph M. Steinman is the senior physician and head of the Cellular Physiology and Immunology Laboratory at prestigious Rockefeller University in New York City. You know, when you figure something out, it then does seem simple. But till you get to figure it out, it's very complicated and, and, and obstinate. I can't just order people to go and study histiocytosis or any other disease. I need to have some, some ideas, some skills, some experience, and some really talented people uh, to do that. You just can't say when you, when you don't understand the disease uh, when the breakthrough is going to occur. You're, you're obviously up against the wall. I, I've met many uh, children that had this disease. Some of them I've held. And, and their children died. And I love all those children, and whatever we can do to try to find a cure for this disease is very, very important. Fifteen, sixteen years ago, there was no research being done into this disease. There was no information out there for families. There was no way that a family could get support, that they could have hope that a cure was going to be found. Over the years, we've been able to change that. And I think for those children that um, are being diagnosed every day now, that the, the hope for a cure is much greater than it was a few years ago. Led by some of the top scientists in the world, Rockefeller University is one of the many institutions pursuing a cure for histiocytosis. Dr. Svetlana Moisov is a leading member of the Rockefeller University team that is working on histiocytosis research, funded by the Histiocytosis Association of America. This um, foundation exists and that people from understand that research has to be done and that we actually work together, together almost as a team. This is a rare disease and it's not one that attracts a lot of attention, uh, especially by on the part of the government, which will support very heavily other areas of research like cancer and heart disease and so forth. A rare disease is, is a very difficult uh, cause. The point we have to get across is that the children that are suffering and dying from this disease are suffering just as much as children with a more prevalent disease. Families that call me whose children are very, very, very ill need to have hope. It's important to them that they can hope for a cure, that it may happen. And when I can explain to them that I've been at Rockefeller University and I've met with the scientists that are studying this disease, and I can tell them something about the university, something about the project. When that conversation ends, that family knows that someone is looking for a cure that's going to help their child, that someone cares and someone is actually doing something.